Let's see. Start recording in five, four, okay. three. <laughs> okay, give me a second. <laughs> it's okay. You can cut this in post. <laughs> you can cut this in post. <laughs> Dude, That's you could. Fine. We're recording already anyway. You can start whenever. Yeah, dude. Like, you could. You know, fucking Super Bowl just kicked off and you're all time out, coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta get What's out. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Taz Good Podcast Universe. I'm here with. I'm editing all of <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to a new edition of the Too Good Podcast here on Spotify. Because as always, we don't know what we're doing with Apple. I am one third of your hosts today. Sandro X2, and with me as always is my second, third host, Trey Pew Pew. Trey, how's it going? Uh, it's going. Today, we brought a little extra guest with us. So, is this a third of the third? Yeah, number three guy. <laughs> wow, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> yes. I don't know who you are. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't even hear him. At Tezo0666. Did you just plug a Pornhub? <laughs> that's ballsy. <laughs> yeah, that's he's got the most liked comments. <laughs> that's that's very ballsy. But yes, uh, welcome to a new edition of Two Good Podcasts, as I just said. And um, before we begin, I appreciate all the views that we got last week. On I put like the the video version of this on YouTube and we got like 34 views, which is like 30 more views than I thought we would get. So thank you. Thank you for watching. You can see our faces now, which is cool and everything. And, uh, we got a few new subs. So welcome to the, whatever this is, this channel and everything. Mm -hmm. And, but we're enjoying it. So yeah, exactly. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it and everything. And, um, like us on Facebook, Too Good Content Universe. Like us on Instagram at I'm gonna. That's why I got my phone now because it's such a long thing. Two, as in two, like T zero zero underscore good underscore content underscore universe on Instagram. It's a long ass plug. I'm sorry. Is it T zero zero or T O O? T O O. I'm sorry. Be- because like, no, it's fine. Because people get it. You see a zero and an O. Like, how do you know the difference? One's taller. Is that what you're gonna tell me right now? A little line, man. I'm sorry. What? The strength through. Yeah, you know, a little line. Since when did that happen? Resident Evil Zero. Shut the hell up, Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> up, Resident Evil zero. <laughs> also, We're- follow us on twitchtv content. Very good, Trey. A little You've... bit of a rebranding there. If you want to help us out financially, follow us on OnlyFans at TooGoodButthole.com. So we that's not we don't thing. we don't have. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the thing, but that's not us. If you get desperate enough, you know, you want to see your buttholes, just put it in the comments. No, I'll. Hello. We could trademark it, Andy, just in case. Yeah, we, we could. I look, man. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I'm not. I'm not saying that I know for sure it's a thing. I'm just pretty sure, like you know, the connect with the fans, man. You know what? I'll find out later, <laughs> and I'll let you know next episode. Okay, great. I'm glad that we're on the same page about looking up to see if two, whatever butthole is like a real thing. I just said whatever came in my head. I think, it, I, I think it was too good, butthole. I'll, I'll I'll listen through a little bit later. I'll find out. Okay, great, 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 great. Um, before we begin to our talking points of our little grand adventure, because we hung out recently, the three of us mm-hmm. and my wife, I do need to bring up something that my wife brought up to me because um, last week she brought up a bunch of like errors on our our part. You know, she's just like I mispronounced Tiana from uh, Princess and the Frog. She got really triggered by that. She got mad that we mispronunciate the Dora. So I gotta bring it up, the Dora Milaje. You know, she got mad about that, and that just proves my point that you know toxic fandoms are a thing. You know, you could mispronounce one thing, and then like you're fucking hated for nothing. Me mispronouncing yeah. something should not interfere with the way you like something. Okay. You're gonna get in that... so much trouble when this episode comes out. Yeah, I know, dude. A man is gonna kill you. <laughs> it's okay. Because you know what? She doesn't like to drive, and she keeps me alive because I drive all the time. So, all right? So, there we go. It's, it's, a yeah. it's, it's a win. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, follow up. Also, I got a message from my friend, um, 
Shannon, she was listening to the episode, and then we were talking about, like, the whole Little Mermaid thing. She got a message from her brother, like, it's like a 50 cent, Melissa, Maleficent, but it was like Maleficent 50 cent, and I was just like, I would watch that, but I just thought, I just thought that was pretty funny. That's, like, interesting feedback, and I was just like, thank you. <laughs> like, thank you for listening, Shannon. I appreciate it. And uh, other than that, I got no really, like, other follow-up other than that. What about you, Trey? Did you get any, like, Get any heckles from people that you know about the episode or anything like that? No. I mean, I, well, no, not that I could think of. Not, not that. That was that was toxic and mean, and you just doxed it. Tell your wife she's canceled. Next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. She she likes the show. All right. Now our now our fans are gonna are gonna hate on your wife. Dude, no, you no. You guys had your first YouTube drama. Oh, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everyone knows my wife. She's been in a couple of videos. Look back. Um, this thing we're doing on Two Good Content Universe, we made three videos. You can see my wife. We, we, we... Exactly. You guys that are just joining on now, you can see the downfall of Andy's marriage. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Our marriage is fine. It's it's stronger than ever. <laughs> I like to think that. But anyways, um, as I said, we all hung out. Recently, this past weekend, well, this past Saturday, my wife included, but you know, we're just we're walking out strike. No, 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 no. no. Okay. He's just doing something really quick. Wages. We're out. They're, we don't get paid. I, I exactly. don't. Exactly. I'm getting nothing for this. There goes my likeness. I'm all over YouTube now. I mean, like, it's not such a bad thing, to be honest. It's okay. Look at Logan Paul. You know, look at him now. Incredible. I'm a drug addict, and it's this podcast fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easily influenced. It's okay, but no. Recently, uh, Are talking about that Logan Paul's a wrestler now. I was just <laughs> don't worry, show? don't worry about it, Trey. Don't worry about it. Okay. D- don't worry it's about. It's me out that you guys are recording right now because right now is prime AEW time. I, I know. Mean, you know what? Um, it is what it is. We're just gonna get through this. Good card too. So, oh, we're just, we're gonna get through this, and I'm gonna watch like the rerun. All right, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. We're wrestling fans, ladies and gentlemen. Trey, uh, I think we're converting him. No, he he says no, everybody. No, yeah, not. yeah. Okay, nah. Okay, great. But anyway, speaking of wrestling, there was no. I mean, there's a few wrestling things. We went to. Dude, if I say the name of the convention, they're gonna know where we live. But I think everyone knows where we live already. I know. I mean, we went to the Alamo City Comic Con in San Antonio. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, they know we live in Texas. We talked about stuff, you know. That's right. Texas is so big. Good luck trying to find us. <laughs> Edit that out later. I I think I can keep the middle <laughs> finger in. I think I can. Can you keep the middle yeah, finger I mean, on YouTube? I think put you a can. Bigger finger over it. <laughs> you want to put? I can do that for you. I'll put a bigger finger over it. I'll put one of the the foam hands. That'd be hilarious. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Let's put it. Keeping in line with what we talked about. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we went to the Alamo City Comic Con in San Antonio, Texas. We went because it was free. And because of that, I really can't talk shit about it. I can. Okay, I mean, great. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It was free. But I mean, that's literally why we went. Yeah. I will say that. I wasn't looking forward to seeing Michael Madsen, but I saw him. I mean, I saw him in passing, yeah. And then, who was it? That Lori, I forgot her name. She was in The Walking I Dead. About Michael Madsen, but only because, you know. I started my, I guess, ascension into more adult movies. You know, Reservoir Dogs is one of the first movies I watched with my mom. Yeah, actually, that's the first time that I saw Michael Madsen, too. And weird, but cool, I guess. Well, she was home. <laughs> do you all have that? We you... weren't rich, so we had one TV. <laughs> one DVD player. I was like, I guess we're watching Reservoir Dogs, Mom. Well, I think that's how I found out when I was terrified of the X-Files. But yeah, either way. I'm about to say is, do you all have that one movie where like you watch with your parent and you're, you're looking back and it's like, man, that was cringy as fuck. Hmm. I do. <laughs> I I watched uh, Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction with my mom. Dude, I, I watched. I got, I got I, Nutty Professor. <laughs> that's not cringy, Trey. <laughs> that's a cringy ass movie, dude, and weird to watch with a parent. Dude, now, the worst one ever is me walking in to my parents watching Norbit. <laughs> you can do better. Yeah. No, man. I remember one time, um, I watched uh, Eyes Wide Shut with my mom, 
And this is like, <laughs> that's fucking awkward, dude. <laughs> that's fucking awkward, all right? I don't know what y'all talking about. Like, an example like that, where it's just like, you're watching a really fucked up movie. Like, <laughs> I had my, uh, my theater, well, you know, you were in it. Uh, Mrs. Lopez, our theater instructor, buy me uh, South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut on DVD. And <laughs> she was wife to the deacon of the Catholic Church. Nice. <laughs> but see, in our small town, mine and Andy's, you know, you can just buy movies without being, you know, carded. That's how I got Reservoir Dogs Pulp Fiction was in the town next to us at a Walmart. So I bought them, and I would put them on, and my mom would be walking around doing stuff, and she would happen upon it, so... With South Park, we had some sort of one act play thing going on. We had to travel out of town, and I wanted to buy South Park because I'm used to just buying what I want. And the store is like, "You're not old enough," so I had to convince our instructor to buy it for me. She's like, "Are you sure? Why do I have to buy it?" And I was like, "Ah, oh, it's an age limit thing because I didn't say a bad word once." And she was like, "Oh my, my god!" Like, yeah, be cool, and I like really fought to convince her. She's like, oh, "I'm gonna ask her mom later." I was like, "Nah, yeah, go for it." She never did. <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ! You scammed your teacher to buy you South Park very long during the cut. Nice. And you know what? I wish I could say that that was a lie, that whole story, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah. Pretty sure it sounds like something our teacher would do. <laughs> would, would do, you know? <laughs> Jesus, like, all right, cool. She would get mad when I play Yu-Gi-Oh. By the way, but you know, I guess South Park is okay. The best ones always had an issue. Well, it's funny because, you know, when you get older, you get so disconnected from that because, like, now we have trouble with, you know, slang terms that are being thrown around. Back then, when we were in school, I don't know if you're... Speak for yourself, <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. That's cool, right? <laughs> That's some segue because we were talking Michael Madsen. We got to that story. <laughs> no. But, yeah, uh, I don't remember much of that convention other than, like, a few figures that I wanted, but I had no money. But they had a, a lot of cool toys. I yeah, guess that, that was that was the issue I had. I mean, there was a few people cosplaying. There was plenty of vendors, almost all vendors, and yeah, uh, man, like maybe three guests. Lori, Lori, <laughs> Lori, Lori. No, she, she later. It's like yeah, she was a Walking Dead, and she was also in the the Boys. That one episode, well, a few episodes. That's right. Yeah. And uh, Andrea in The Walking Dead. There you go. Yeah, she was Andrea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, K Katie Shackoff was over there too. Freaking um, Bo Katan, some yeah. girl from ba Battlestar Galactica. She was also in Riddick. Remember Riddick, guys? What a great movie. I do. Was she in Riddick? I, she was in one of them. <laughs> what I'm was it? Pretty sure she was in one of them. Pitch, Pitch Black. Was that Pitch Black was the other one that. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she wasn't. It was, she wasn't pitch black. I think she was in one of the Rick movies. But yeah, man. Yeah, it it was enjoyable though because it was free. It was nice to be able to walk around and see a bunch of other people enjoying their fandoms and trying to haggle for really expensive statues and pops. The best part. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. The only thing that kind of like really interested me was. Uh, they had like those you those you those Pokemon packs that were not opened. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there could be like some rare shit in there, and we'll never know because I'm not gonna spend like fifty or seventy five dollars on a pack of you know Pokemon cards from like the nineties. And if anybody ever does do that, don't open the pack. Just don't open it. There's no point. It doesn't matter if you think there could be a first edition Charizard in there because there probably isn't, and you'll probably make more money selling that pack closed. So just just keep it. Yeah, just keep it. But other than that, um, Amanda did buy me this. Uh, it's a darling in the Franks <laughs> little anime girl that's saying darling. <laughs> that's the only thing I wanted over there. What? Why, why you shake your head, Trey? It's a great show. I didn't shake my head. I just looked at Tez. I wanted to see what his expression of this looked like. <laughs> no, he's what? What? <laughs> what? Come on, man. Everyone likes our fandoms. You, Trey just said everyone likes fandoms and everything. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't get a cool character like Sir Kaiba. Yeah, but since you're our friend or whatever, we, we got to give you shit for it. It's like Kuwabara. They didn't get. They didn't have uh, Sir Kaiba. I have Kuwabara on my shirt though. Oh, see. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, see. it's not my boy. Yeah, you're right. It ain't. <laughs> One thing that I was like very like surprised. Actually, I was hella surprised is that Trey got pictures because he was wearing a Vegeta Badman pink shirt and people wanted pictures of 
of that. Yeah, it wasn't, it, it wasn't exactly like a comp, like a great cosplay. I just thought it was a cool shirt to wear over there. <laughs> Plus, my friends had convinced me to get it, and then they didn't end up cosplaying, and I will never forgive them for that. What were they supposed to cosplay? I don't know how to order expedited shipping on Amazon. What were they going to try to cosplay? Uh, I think it, I think they were gonna do sayings and stuff too. They had bought just shirts, nothing really complicated, but they didn't get there in time. Well, I remember um, I said something about to Amanda about you know us cosplaying as a horse, and she'd be the ass, but she never wants to do it. I don't understand. It's not a cosplay. It's something <laughs> you wear to a college like dorm party. Troy, we all went to the same college, kind of. That has ne- that never happened at all. Not the calls we went to. <laughs> well, yeah, because nobody was fun. And no, you didn't want to do it. I no, and he slid down some stairs on a mattress. I did, yeah, I did. And then I remember I went to like a dorm party around, like off the corner where we were at, and like, dude, you know how small those rooms are. How the fuck were there twenty people in that one room that night? I d- it makes no damn sense to me, but. Also, Andy's stair slide was cool because that mattress gave out like a third of the way down, so it was just him going down the stairs. Dude, you know, you 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 don't have to tell people about that, man. You could just. You're right. We'll cut it in the edit. <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> but uh, I I got no final thoughts really at that Comic Con. Just like you know, it was nice to get out, nice to see you all. We had a pretty bitch in lunch afterwards. Pretty. Yeah, it, was, it was damn good, except for our waiter who was so aggressive. He was aggressive. He hate he hated us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we got yelled pepsi at us at least twice and uh but delicious either way the guy was cool kind of, i think i don't know he made a joke he I made if he was laughing though i don't know uh he was this very aggressive aggressive waiter i yeah. i don't think i tipped him good to be honest with you yeah, he's fine I did just because the food was good i was like i'll, I'll allow it because the food's good you know it's funny though i actually read that online and i was uh looking up different places like you know restaurants whenever i travel and it'll be like oh you know the wait staff is rude that's when you know the food's good because <laughs> uh, the food has to be good right yeah <laughs> work there um it's like dick's last resort or something yeah me and tez ended up going to a card shop afterwards too or whatever and i went and traded in some valuable dragon ball cards and picked up a box of the new set of magic cards Oh, did you do a card break and everything? Like, just record a video of you opening packs and be like, oh, check out. No, you didn't. I don't have the patience to do that and to hold a brand new box. I oh, opened them on the car ride. Yeah. Wow. Did you get anything good, though? Yes. <laughs> but I'm not going to bore you guys with it. Not today. I got a card that I, I wanted. It's a borderless Liliana the Veil foil. No, it's not for trade. What the anyway, fuck is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I choked on my Is it like Black Lotus? Remember that card? No, it's it's worth like 80 bucks, 90 bucks, but it's I was happy because I don't have to pay 80, 90 bucks to own it. So. Okay, very good. It's schooled by some dude on Dragon Ball. Let's not talk about that. It's hot, dude. History. <laughs> See, and that's going to bring out the toxic part of my fandom. <laughs> okay, Andy, you know those guys or whatever that love... To just start spouting random facts that you know for a fact are not true. I fucking hate people like that. God, dude, the entire time I was standing there, I was just trying to talk to the guys about the damn magic cards. And the, he was looking at the Dragon Ball cards, too, and just mentioning stuff. He was like, oh, did you know something? Something's going to pop. I was like, no. I was I, like, no, I didn't. I actually hate that, Like, especially like when you're on Facebook and you see like someone like share like this, like, gallery of like 30 movie posters of upcoming movies of like horror movies and some of this shit's not even real you know what i mean but they think See, it's real because he was talking about brawly and i was like best one bio brawly <laughs> you didn't school him that did you really say that <laughs> i laughed i think the two guys they're kind of chuckled because I, they were pretty young because they know it's true dude he's like the hulk and brawly bio brawly how is he like the Hulk and bio like, like gamma radiation? Oh my blood. god! You got Saiyan blood. Um, I hate that. Him, you know, instead of just being regular human form, he had crap covering him, protecting him. <laughs> you know, I only mentioned that because I started watching Naruto again. <laughs> That's not the right character. That's not the right character at all, man. Oh my god! They have they have all of it on Netflix, so I give it a second chance. 
Even she put it? Yes. Okay, cool. Anywho, uh, Alamo City Comic Con. If it happens again, good for them. If it doesn't, I'm not surprised. Damn. I think it's going to happen again, Trey. They, the guy That's has a lot of money. I, I will totally go, and if there's a way for me to spend money there, and I actually have money this time, I'll do it. Well, the big Texas Comic Con is happening in October, but it's too soon. I didn't save up enough to blow my money. No, I wanted it to be free. We only do free around here, actually. No, we don't. Everybody, you guys have been to the big ones. I, know. I was there with you. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just whatever. It, it was fine. It was fine. Overall, the rating, it was fine. It was completely fine. And that's you know it. what was cool though is like how it was just all one big hall. Is that the stage that they were interviewing the guest was in the main like room was selling with all the vendors? So walking around, you could hear Michael Madsen talking later on. You know, Katie Sackhoff. Uh... Man sounds like he gargles with asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> all that smoking. It was terrifying, dude. I felt like there was like Lucifer himself was like speaking behind me. There was some disappointment before we went because. Originally, Robert Patrick was supposed to be there, T-1000. Yeah. I was like, oh, I wanted to see him run for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I don't think he can run like that no more. Yeah, I don't know. Dude. He's, he's done it once. He can do it again. He's the white dragon now. Yeah, he's the white dragon for yeah. Peacemaker. Now streaming on HBO yeah. Max. <laughs> we were talking about cars. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It just took me a second. You caught me off guard. <laughs> anyway. But, but yeah, if you do, if you do have any kind of uh, free comic convention or anything like that around you and stuff go support them go walk around they're doing it for free plus you never know what you can find there yeah yeah you might find some some like rare ass crap i, I don't know it wasn't <laughs> i was gonna say something yeah, but I, I, don't remember. I almost bought a cartridge of super castlevania 4 for the super nintendo it was 50 dollars. i almost bought a wrestler for a 150 dollars chase figure if i had the money i probably would have done it i'm not gonna lie that was way more than what i said <laughs> it is uh, but you know we got Andy? well do, this past week? you just brought up video games and i did want to bring out the tokyo game show there's a whole lot of nothing really just like a few things that like caught me like oh shit for one yeah, honestly, there, there, there was no uh major announcements or anything like that yeah like the only thing that like the only thing i was interested in was like street fighter 6 like, oh yeah, there was a lot of gameplay stuff. It had a new gameplay. It looks like there's like a story mode. Dalzim's back. Blanca's back. E Honda's back. Like basically the the original core eight. Mm -hmm. They're in the game, but yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. I'm definitely probably gonna pick it up. Same. Unless I mean, but like, come on, dude. They need to put Q in the game. They, they need to. They need to put Just Q in the rate, game. Man. I'm not gonna drop that. Yeah. I, I get it. I get it want, wanting like a fan favorite character and stuff like that, but it's just not going to happen, Andy. <laughs> no. You get your hopes up every time they say, hey, it's Street Fighter 6.3 Hyper. No, he's not going to be in it. What about Hyper Super EX? Probably not, dude. They're going to put G in instead. Again. Dude, fuck G, all right? <laughs> they misspelled Q when they gave us this President of the World motherfucker in Street Fighter 5. What the hell is Capcom thinking? Let me. Give me fifty million dollars and I'll make a Street Fighter Six roster. We're gonna get Armika, she's back. We're gonna get um Hagger from Final Fight. We're gonna get uh Rolento. You know, yeah, I'll make this roster. Can you get that scissor dude that walks off? That's oh, that's, that's fucking so caliber. That's not <laughs> You have fifty million dollars, make it happen, dude. I said give me, I don't have it on me. <laughs> Well, then why, well, why make the list? <laughs> it's dreamcasting, all right? I can why dream. Not give you the $50 million? You're not innovating. Whatever. But, you know, I'm glad he brought up Voldo in a weird way because I could segue off that because Namco also showed off um, a trailer for, was it Tekken 8? Yeah. Dude, the have you ever, like, sat down and looked at the lore of Tekken? It's ridiculous. It's fucking insane. I remember... Um, at UTSA, um, I had a friend, Kat, that would like always wants to play like fighting games, mostly Tekken, and she would sat me down and told me the whole fucking lore, and I was like, who the fuck is Mardok? Who the fuck is like that Robok Braskovich person? And I was just like, she explained it to me, I was just like, I can't get into this. I just want to play the fucking game, alright? Raven. 
Raven was a weird one from that. So Raven, that wasn't it. <laughs> that would be cool though. I think Raven Simone can fucking fuck up Prototype Jack any day of the week. And Paul, that's right. I said it. Paul. Paul yeah, Phoenix? Paul. Yeah, Paul Phoenix. Maybe Simone can fuck her up, fuck him up really easy. <laughs> Like, I have nothing to add. I don't know if fighting game is great. <laughs> that was good, though. Every time I play Mortal Kombat, I'd be like, finish him, and I'd do an ankle kick. <laughs> I remember I, we... I, I'm actually kind of excited for Tekken 8 because Tekken 7 has been around for, what, like nine years already? It's not that long. <laughs> but it like feels like it. Years. Yeah, it's been... A... Isn't that the one with Negan? Yes. That's fucking. It still blows my mind to this day that they have Negan in a Tekken video game. Akuma's in there too. Yeah, I know Akuma's in there. Fucking broken it as makes fuck. More sense than Negan. Nah, huh. Negan's cool. He has a bat. Mm. He has Lucille. The actor's cool. Who would you put then as a comic book character in Tekken Eight? Huh? Who would you put? As a from a comic book character? Yeah, comic book character. Shang Chi. No, they already have what's his name. They're lost. <laughs> Uh, a fighter, dude. Put Archie in there. Oh, that's a good one. Fuck yeah. But Archie from... Dude, no, 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 no. Have you not seen the, that fucking show? Was it Riverdale? Is that what it's called? Yeah, but not... No, don't do dude, that. Dude, Archie has, like, is in a fight club in, like, season four, dude. He can go. I stopped at season one. Oh, well. It's... Yeah, I watched a little bit of it, and I was like... Mm. It's fucking Wait, insane. You know, what season did Luke Perry get shot in? I think that's I think that's like five. Very good, Tez. It's early on. It's early, dude. Because I caught it? that. And I didn't even go that far. Oh, it's so that was like one or two then. Yeah. I just thinking like recent recent seasons where they had like that 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 funeral, but whatever. No. R.I.P. Luke Perry. Yeah. Your son Jack is making you proud. See what I did there, Tez? Little wrestling reference. It's Jungle Boy. You know who Jungle Boy is. Don't drug. <laughs> Fucking no. Actually, I would put Jughead, to be honest. He's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, better than Archie, then. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, also, in addition to Tokyo Game Show, they announced Overwatch 2's newest character, Kuriko, which is like a fox girl that can, like, I don't know, she kind of, like, can teleport through walls and stuff. And I just wanted to bring it up because are you aware that the Overwatch, like, fandom is all up in arms because um, this character is behind a battle pass? Yes. I've been keeping up with it for the past week already. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't bother me because it's just, like, just so, it's a free-to-play game. What the fuck do you expect, you know? <laughs> like. Well, the reason a lot of people are upset or whatever was that Jeff, Kaplan or whatever his name made that statement back that back then he was like you guys bought the game we want you to keep playing and stuff so he was like why not give you the characters for free he was like we're pledged that Overwatch is always gonna have free characters or something like that yeah but the thing is Jeff Kaplan's been gone for like almost two or three years something like that and yeah and, and they're and Apparently no. everybody forgot that it's Blizzard. Of course they're gonna try and like do something with this to make a little a little money off of it. I was about to say yeah, and like not only that, but you know Microsoft owns Blizzard now, so of course like they're gonna they're gonna milk the hell out of this and Call of Duty Modern Warfare too, man, and Diablo and whatever the fuck else they own. I don't know Starcraft. Me at first that it's behind a paywall, but then I remember I joined Fortnite for that Dragon Ball Z thing event, and I was like, I'm not gonna pay money. And then when it was the last day, I was like, I need Goku. So I, <laughs> you want Goku? What about Krillin? And they put him in there, but sleeping on my boy. That's what I'm going to cosplay next time. Cop Krillin. That way I can wear some sweet cargo shorts and a helmet. <laughs> that would be badass. That would be cool. Yeah, but I got to shave and I can't commit. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, though. I totally get that. I shaved my beard off. The all illusion of chin is gone. <laughs> After this, I have a laziness, and then when I do trim it, I'm like, mm. <laughs> great. But no, like, um, I'm still gonna play the hell out of Overwatch 2, man. And like, even if it's behind a paywall, if I have the money, cool, I'll buy it. If not, it's okay, you know. It's it's nice being an adult, huh? It is because because not only that, like Overwatch 2, how many players do you play as? Like, how how many people do you main? I've I like the 30 characters. Me myself. Yeah. 
one. Exactly. Exactly, man. It's just like, this character might suck. I may not even, like, flow with, with Kariko, man. I got Lucio still, man. What, what else do I need? Got the speed boost. Tez, you should play Overwatch with us. I barely get by on Fortnite, so... Yeah. Probably not? Okay. But <laughs> Speaking of Fortnite, but really quick, um, when I logged into Fortnite with the new season, I got, like, I guess stuff I never claimed, and um, I got 300 V-Bucks, and with that, I bought the Wu-Tang emote, you know? I bought I'm that gonna crap. I'm going to log in now, because that's a good idea. What, buying the Wu-Tang emote? No, checking if I got any unclaimed stuff. I'm not going to buy the Wu-Tang emote. What the fuck? We're for the children, Trey. Yeah, dude, what are you doing? Wait, the V-Bucks or the, the Wu-Tang? Both? The Wu- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. They're both. <laughs> exactly. Man, dude, I can't believe that. Um, But yeah, man, other than that, that was the Tokyo Game Show. They talked about uh, uh Resident Evil. You, you brought up Resident Evil, didn't you? Like, or did Pete? Someone did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I honestly missed the entire trailer, but pretty cool. They're, uh, they're remaking Resident Evil 4, and they put a little clip on the thing, and at the end, and Leon looks great. That's all I gotta say. It's Resident Evil 4. The game was perfect. Actually, like, uh, a friend of mine um posted on her Instagram. She's just like, I'm so glad they fixed, uh, like, you know, Leon, because he doesn't look like McCullough Culkin no more. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, what do you mean? McCullough Culkin's badass. Well, whatever. <laughs> he kind of does look like McCullough Culkin. Oh, like, older McCullough Culkin. Yeah, he does. Resident Evil 4. That game was too hard. <laughs> it's because I'm... I suck at video games and I'm basic, so I was. And he let me Resident Evil Four, and I was like, "I'll try it out." I remember playing, and I was like, "This game sucks so hard." And then I finally passed the level, and then the beginning credits came up. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> it was getting me like to Ninja Gaiden again, again. Andy let me Ninja Gaiden, and I finally beat the guy. And Ninja Gaiden. It's like really, bitch. Yeah, I look forward to this game. Oh yeah, oh, dude. Really I good. I love it when video games do that, man. I hate it. <laughs> I already have enough stress in my not- life. I don't need to stress out over the video game. <laughs> well, well, you know what game that you love, Tez, and that you, it's very stress free because we used to play the hell of it all the time. Grand Theft Auto. We spent so much time in Grand Theft Auto, but Grand Theft Auto Six officially leaked this past weekend. As a, as of today, the FBI is investigating the leak. <laughs> wow, that doesn't make sense. Officially leaked. <laughs> Look, man, we knew this was. A thing, okay? That's what I'm saying. Like, we knew that GTA 6 was a thing, all right? They've made little vague hints in the past, but some fucking shad leaked gameplay and, like, all this bullshit online. So, officially, it got leaked, all right? I haven't checked out anything just because I love Grand Theft Auto and I want to be surprised. I saw all over Reddit people were talking about it, but I didn't want to look it up. Donkey I made actually, a video, though. I actually did see Donkey's video. <laughs> But I still didn't see any actual screenshots or leaked footage yet. He did it. I'm not a GTA fan. So I'm not, wasn't looking for it, but I'm not going to like not look at it. I've been playing GTA since two, top down. <laughs> yeah, you know, kids that these days don't know that uh, that's how GTA was. Fucking crazy. That's a show in our age, but it's okay because we're wise. You know, We have wisdom, you know what I mean? So it's okay. <laughs> No? I wouldn't say we're wise. We got experience. But, okay, great. That counts. But, no, like, um, but, yeah, that guy's in, like, deep shit. Apparently, like, he posted on, like, some kind of, like, message board. And then, like, he said something. <laughs> it wasn't 4 channel, It was something else. Oh. <laughs> but, like, he said something like, oh, it's all leaked out there. I'm going to go to bed. So this motherfucker just, like, leaked all this crap and he went to bed. <laughs> like, right afterwards, he's just like, whatever. That's some flashbangs and glass breaking. That's great though. Like that's that's just like I'm gonna put this and I'm gonna see what I wake up to. Yeah, I mean it's pretty funny, but yeah, but no. The, in, in all serious note, the the FBI is involved now, so Rockstar is pretty pissed off. It was probably Trump. They're gonna go break into Mar Lago again. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Trump was hiding. <laughs> GTA Six. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's an idea right there, Tez. You should trademark that. Yeah, Trump behind a paywall GTA 6. <laughs> there we go. I'd buy that. We'll find you and eat you, dude. <laughs> but, uh. Like an anaconda. I could explain the, the gameplay really quick or no. You don't want that? Yeah, Wait, no. Tez, do you want to be spoiled on gameplay? 
Yeah, go for it. I have, have shit memory, so I'll forget anyway. Yeah. It's it's literally because apparently it's going to have like a female lead and then like her boyfriend. It's like inspired by Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, cool. And the video that I saw, um, they were robbing a diner. And I'm not going to lie, it reminded me a hell of a lot of Pulp Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hopefully they don't say Honey Bunny as much. Though, they, they, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> but like, um, it was really interesting because, like, you could go up to, like, she went up to, like, every single person and, like, robbed them. Like, everyone's interaction was different. It was, like, pretty impressive. But, of course, like, this is, like, an early build, so, like, their faces, like, the, the NPCs, they weren't, like, really quite built. But, you know, the potential's there. And then, you know, the cops came and, you know, they got in the getaway car and that was the end of the clip. It was, like, a three-minute clip, but, like, um, Oh, well, that's a substantial like amount of leakage. I mean, there's other clips right there. There's clips of her like one of them going to a strip club. You're Everything's like there's no strippers though. It was just like blocks. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and like um, just like the girl walking in a dress, just like oh check out my dress, and you know that's all it was. But like that there was other shit, but I didn't want I didn't really want to look into it because it was like. Uh, it's like a lot of nothing, really, because it's like still early development, but it's something. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, at least we have confirmation that Rockstar is doing something other than just supporting GTA Online for the next 20 years. I mean, that GTA 5 came out when, like, fucking a long ass time ago already? You know so, what's funny is when I got GTA 5, I never played the online because I was like, nah, I know it's going to be toxic. There's just certain games we know are going to be toxic. Yeah, no. I played uh, Red Dead, and I got really into that one online. And guess which one's dying? Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, for some reason they're not going to be supporting Red Dead as much, but GTA Online. GTA I Online. I really don't care for it. I played it for a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's get off the topic of video games. So GTA Six releasing in 2029. You heard it here, folks. As long as they have golf in this one, I'm fine. <laughs> golf comforts me for some reason in GTA 5. You know, I'm overstressed. I just drive in the golf range, play a little golf. <laughs> there we go. I like to just stalk um, people on the streets, but that's a story for a different time. All right? It's okay. Yeah. It's 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 not really role play. It's like, anyways. Anyways. Nope. Hellraiser's back, everybody. Remember Hellraiser, <laughs> Pinhead? I... I love the trailer. I actually got excited. You want to explain to Tez what the trailer was? Can you explain it to him? Uh, I'll do okay. it. No, no, no. Okay. I, I got oh, it. You got it? Okay, okay. So we pan in on a build. No, I'm just <laughs> Oh my kidding. fucking God. <laughs> I was in it. <laughs> so pretty much it's just a whole retelling of the Hellraiser story. Pretty, I, it's a, it's going to be a series or a movie. That's what I wasn't. Clear it's about. a movie. Awesome! I'm even more excited. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it goes in on a guy or whatever, and he's just holding what looks like a puzzle box. Like a Malayan puzzle from Yu-Gi-Oh. Exactly. <laughs> and then fucking Bakura came out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> anyway, you know, build up, completes the puzzle box. Something drags him away. Blah blah blah. Hallway whispers, all this cool stuff. The Cenobites look fantastic. Yeah, they dude. That one that fucking, like, you know, like shitters, like sh shatters, what's yeah. Shivering? Shatter yeah. Or chitter or something, yeah. Something like that or whatever, yeah. Looks badass. There's a couple other ones that came out. One guy looked like he had a bar with his face stretched out around it. Like a, like a leather thingy. Pretty gross. And, and um... Then, the big reveal. Andy, you want to talk about it? Um, Pinhead is back and played by a female, but sounds like a man. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. So I did a little... I mean, I was going to fight Pinhead either way, so this is... <laughs> Makes it easier. I mean, even in the original, which is the one you bang the most, Pinhead. I mean, the original movie, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't it like this girl's just so horny that she just wants to resurrect her dead boyfriend to fuck? Isn't that what the plot is? Uh, I think she was being manipulated by him or something yeah. like that. I'll say it wasn't her, it was her husband. Okay, but yeah, yeah. she was still horny though, right? 
Yeah, because she, she was the one. Well, dude, pretzels are fucking horny as shit. <laughs> Whenever I get it on, I'm like, hold on, check out this Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. But, yeah, um, it looks good. I love it. I did a little digging real quick or whatever because I wanted to remember the name of uh, the actual novel or whatever, The Hellbound Heart. Mm-hmm. But apparently, the Hellbound Heart, you can't tell what Pinhead is. They're very androgynous in the book. Oh, okay. So, like, and that's what they're doing here. He's got, the, he's got more mannish features, or they've got more mannish features, but they have the voice of an excited woman. Oh, so they kind of just did it reverse. Mm -hmm. So they sound like Fran Drescher and the nanny. <laughs> Super excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep cut, man. <laughs> Not a lot of people bring up Fran Gresher in 2022. <laughs> like my mind raced, right? <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Apparently, another, apparently another theory, too, is that they're trying to give homage to the original Pinhead actor because it sounds like his voice. Oh, yeah. It sounds like the original Pinhead. If you listen, though, because I had earphones on when I was listening to it, there's... It's it's digitally done. You can tell the voices. There's an undertone of a woman's voice in there. Oh, really? Yeah, it was kind of creepy. I'll have to watch that again. But yeah, man, it looks excited. Halloween is upon us. I'm just about done. Make my little list of like Halloween BS. And I can't wait for Halloween, October to roll around. And we just sit around and talk about some horror movies just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Um, but I haven't uh, watched the Hellraiser trailer just because I wanted to stay away and like watch the movie fresh and get excited. Because sometimes a lot of trailers now they reveal too much. The, he, you you ain't wrong. This was a nice teaser because this trailer was what maybe three minutes long. Nah, two dude, minutes not, long? it was like two minutes, man. But like, yeah. but he he has a point. Remember that one movie with The Rock where he's like, you know, like jumping. <laughs> he has a prosthetic leg and like he like jumps from like a tower or something like that. The tower was on fire. Like, dude, I saw the whole movie in that trailer, dude. I was just like, holy shit, that's the movie. You yeah. know? I mean, yeah, I remember that. Trailers do just give away like everything. Like that Idris yeah. Elba movie. Beast. Mm. He fights a tiger. He probably wins. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't watch it. Why not? Dude, I'm not going to waste my money on that. It looks boring. I think that movie looked boring. You're, you're, the, you're the cinephile, Andy. I don't know what you like, okay, man? Sometimes it's fucking weird. Also, there are good animal movies that won the ghost and the... Hawks in the Hound? No, bitch. No one without Kilmer. Michael Douglas, and they're in Africa, and there's the lion. It was a good movie. I don't remember that movie. I think... I think my buddy was just talking about that. Huh. I'm your buddy. I just talked about it. <laughs> he got you there. Gonna hit me later, then. <laughs> I think we could all agree that Operation Double Drop is one of the best movies of all time. How do you disconnect? <laughs> actually, actually, like I want to bring something up. I brought this up like when we were like eating. Remember, I told you all that I had like a few VHSs. I took a photo of it of what VHSs it's I had. I was about killing the movie. <laughs> okay. Good movie. But like. Remember, like, when we were having lunch and I was just like, oh, these are my VHS. I couldn't remember. I took a photo. I have, these are all, this is my VHS collection. I have Babe, Babe Pig in the City, Time Cop, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla 1985, Mr. Nanny, Hook, and Santa with Muscles. Those are, that's my VHS collection. You know, it's one of those. Didn't I give you those two? You gave me the, you gave me the Hulk Hogan movies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and also, I see your Dumbo, Dumbo drop and raise you a Dunstan checks in. Great movie, I love it. <laughs> I don't, I don't. You terrified me when I was little. Congo, <laughs> Amy, sad. That was a good movie too, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyways, we just got off tangent like hardcore right there, but it's okay. Um, yeah. We have I? we have a new segment, Trey. Are you ready for this? Uh, sure, sure. No, wait. Yes. Is it to take off our top? No, it's not. Oh. I mean, if you're feeling sweaty, go ahead. No? I got a nice stamp in here. Okay, good. Okay. No, this is our new segment of the show, everybody. The Stupid Idiot Buffoon of the Century for the week of September 21st. Oh, today's that September 21st song for Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah. He gets it. Yeah. 
Everyone yeah. knows that song, Trey. Where you been? Come on. No, I, I do, I do, but I'm just I'm I'm worried about this. You didn't get his copyright story. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but no. Um, every week, every every episode, whenever we do this, I think it'll be fun to like just riff on real life people, and most of these people are fucking idiots. And okay. today's stupid idiot buffoon. If you say it's me, dude, this podcast is over. It's none of us, all right. Where I'm not not people that we know. Just like, look, I'm just saying, whoever did this NyQuil chicken challenge for real you're a stupid idiot buffoon did you hear about this Trey so I just ran into this reddit thread today on <laughs> on what is it r slash miss the boat or what or r slash what is this thing it was one of those okay and apparently the original post the guy who started this was obviously a joke Mm-hmm. But then the internet happens. <laughs> and I think there's people who are actually doing this, right? Yeah, like the FDA had to like step in and be like, hey, don't do this. You could actually die if you cook food using NyQuil. No, I think it'd be a fun challenge because you got like five pieces cooking NyQuil. See if you can finish all the chicken before the NyQuil kicks in. No, dude, it's gonna also, kill. I wouldn't do it unless it was Popeye's chicken. No, man. Popeye's NyQuil, I might die. <laughs> that's, that's doing it. That's more like a sauce, like a dipping sauce. Like I, I, I'm thinking something might happen or whatever. If you could have like... the rules over here. <laughs> Look, they're cooking in it. So I'm saying they're throwing a pedazo of chicken or whatever, like a good chunk, into a frying pan and cooking well, it. I'll slip a flavor with... to the guy at Popeye's and throw <laughs> some in the <laughs> Dude, but have you it's seen green, the... have you seen have you seen the video though? No. Yeah, it pisses me off though, because there's no spices on it. Look at it. Someone seen the video. Dude, well, Tez is right. They did. They did throw no no fucking spices. It's just like they get two pieces of chicken and then like they're like cooking it. Then they pour like a whole bottle of Nyquil, just like. Like you remember that movie Powder? They just dip that guy in some Nyquil. That's what it looks like. Wow. <laughs> nah, that's still made. That's, that's horrible. I know. Poor chicken died from nothing because nobody can't throw some spices on it. That kid just died eating the most blandest chicken. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, I saw that, and I'm just like, you know what, man? Like, if people get sick or whatever, you know, what is it, Darwin's Law? You know, survival of the fittest? It is what it is, but damn, dude. Like, what happened? What happened to this fucking place? Like, how come people are so stupid? I don't understand. I got, I got a theory, man. I got a theory that everybody's already been stupid. It's just we're hearing it about, about it more or whatever, because we got all these nice little TikToks and shit. I mean, nope. I'm pretty dumb. I've done some dumb stuff in my life. You know, whenever there's no cover in the fan, I'm like, would this cut off my hand? <laughs> no, it didn't. Yeah. You know, I've invested too much money in life that I'm like, nah. You know, it's funny that you were talking about TikTok right now, and I read also that the, this is not a joke, by the way, Tal- the Taliban banned TikTok and um, PUBG for some reason in like their country because they said that PUBG is too violent or some shit like that but the fuck it they're the fucking Taliban Did they watch that episode of Reacher where they, they use PUBG to talk to each other I don't the Taliban's like look I know we're the Taliban but we have standards yeah. <laughs> that's real by the way that's real even, man even the Taliban has limits wait do they allow Fortnite though yeah they do so Fortnite pass. PUBG see, now. See, they, they, see, you can start seeing the line a little more clear now. They <laughs> drew it somewhere. <laughs> what about Overwatch, though? Oh, that passes too, man. There's a lot of porn for Overwatch. So, you know, of course the mm-hmm. Taliban likes that. Who knows how much is made over there? I was about to get surprised, but then I remembered. Yeah, there's porn for everything. <laughs> subscribe, Pornhub, slash, Tez, 666. What was two zeros? No, dude. Okay, well, um, actually, that's that's such a perfect time to end the show because I got nothing else. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, uh, we could do our plugs. Um, I'll do. You want to go first, Trey? 
yeah, I'm gonna try and finish up um, Made of Skur soon. I'm still hold. Yeah, <laughs> I'm uh, still holding my judgment on that game or whatever because I it's it's a little repetitive right now, but I'm still at the beginning. So I think I am. If I'm close to the end already, then this game sucks. Okay, whoa, that's a hot take. It's not a hot take. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I doubt I am, though. It is getting a little more difficult. Okay. Uh, other than that, subscribe to twitch.tv slash too good content. I'm going to be streaming on there from now on. Uh, the guys are going to have access to the uh, to log into it, too, or whatever, so they can use that to stream. It'll be a little bit easier for us to find or for you to find us. So, like, yeah, about that. Do you, like, I play a lot of FPSs. Do you want me to just stream that? Because it's pretty it's dank. Just, it's just streaming or whatever. It's gonna stay on the as vods on Twitch or whatever. If it's anything you want to post, I mean that's on you. But now I'm only bringing it up because I'm actually working on a video game video right now. The other day I was playing with two of my friends. We're playing Apex Legends. Things got pretty dank, pretty stupid. Hey, I was. Uh, we're two friends. It's. I don't like Apex Legends. Don't it... don't, don't don't. There are other games. We could have Fortnited it. <laughs> I mean, we're not good. You don't want to stream that. Well, no, no. I mean, it's it's funnier when we suck, but... <laughs> but, fun. yeah. But I'll say Apex Legends, some high-octane gameplay. I'm not, I'm not even joking, but it was just like... It, it also got pretty dank. But I am working on that video. It, it might be up sometime this week. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to release it. I might, may not. It's really dank. Like, I, made, I made like a really stupid edit, but we'll see. I might just say fuck it. Yeah, release go ahead. It. Hey, look. Just keep an ad. If it pops up, there you go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I do have stuff planned for October, as I'm sure Trey is also. So keep it so locked in on Two Good Content Universe at YouTube.com. Two underscore content underscore universe on Instagram. Uh, like and follow on Facebook, Two Good Content Universe. And you can follow me on Twitter at Andy Con seventy seven Andy lives, and on Instagram at just Andy lives. Yeah, so. And I'm on Twitter at Trey Pew Pew. My Facebook is boring. You guys don't want that. Okay, cool. Trey, I mean Tess, where can I find you? Nowhere. Leave me alone. Excellent. There you go. Thank you all for. Wait, what? Link up on LinkedIn. Give me a job. <laughs> there we go. You got a fantastic profile, indeed. Get this man a job. There we go. You have a job. Wait. What are you doing? Okay. What I can get? Okay, <laughs> okay <laughs> great. No, not the lure, bro. All right, everyone. You all take care. Spike your hair. And have a great night.